Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. So we're going to continue with our omni-channel series. Today, we're going to look at how you can use uh, omni-channel chats inside a Power Apps portal. Okay, so we're going to be looking at embedding a chat, and we'll use one of the chats that we created previously. We're going to take one of those chats, put it inside a Power Apps portal, and that way, users, when they go to the portal, they'll actually be able to authenticate, and then we can see authenticated chats coming through into Omnichannel as an agent. So let's take a look at how we do this. So the first place we start is in the Power Apps Maker Portal. So you can see here on my screen, I'm in the Power Apps Maker Portal. First thing you wanna do is go over to your environments and select the uh, correct environment that you want this to run in. I have this trial org that I set up previously. And what we want to do is go over to apps and click on new app. And we're going to create a new portal here. Okay. So let's just wait till this loads. And here we can uh, give the portal a name. I'm going to call it company portal and give it an address. So uh, this is, this will need to be a unique address. Uh, let's try this one. See if that works. Perfect. And we don't need to check anything else here. We're just going to go ahead and click create. So what's going to happen now is the portal will be created in the background and this can take a little bit of time. It says here it's provisioning uh, the portal. So we're going to basically come back in a few minutes and the portal will be ready to go. Okay, so now we can see that our portal is all set up and ready to go. So what we're gonna do, let's just browse out to it and take a look at it. Should be up and running. Here it is, okay. So we're gonna need this URL. Uh, we'll come back to that. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go over to the Omnichannel Administration app and we're gonna set some things up on that side to get the authentication tied up to the to Omnichannel, okay? So here is the Omnichannel Admin app. And first thing we're going to do is scroll down here and we're going to find authentication settings. So I'm going to click on that. And we're going to create a new record here. And I'm just going to call this, uh, let's say, portal, auth portal authentication, right? The authentication type is going to be OAuth2 implicit flow. So we'll keep that as it is. And here is the public key URL. Okay, so so we're gonna go ahead and go back to our portal and just copy this URL. And we're going to paste that in here. And we're going to add underscore services slash auth slash public key like so. Okay, so it should look like that. And then for the JavaScript client function, we're going to do auth.getAuthentication token. Okay, so it's going to be like this get authentication token. All right, once that's in there, let's go ahead and save this. So that's saved. And now we want to tie this to our chat widget. So we're going to go back over here to chat. We're going to click on website chat. And here's the authentication settings. And we should see the record we just created. So we're going to select that. I'm going to click save. Okay. So now it's tied to this uh, authentication settings record that we created. So now we want to go and tie this into the portal itself. And keep, keep a note here of the, uh, the code snippet that we have, the widget snippet. We're going to be using that. So I'm going to keep this tab over here open and we'll come back to use this in a second. Okay. So for now, let's go over to uh, Power Apps Maker and we're going to go over here to the settings and we're going to click on site settings and here we see content snippets right so this is snippets of content as you can imagine that we can use on our site wherever we want to place it and what i'm going to do is create a new one here and let's call this chat and the website is going to be the company portal and display name we'll just make that chat as well and it's going to be of type html and the language we'll put in as English. And here we're going to click on the HTML tab where it says value 
and it's blank at the moment. So this is where we're gonna place the content widget code, okay? So let's go back over here to the chat widget and the code snippet, we wanna grab this and we'll copy this and we'll come back over here and we're just gonna paste this in and then we'll just click save. So that's saved our content snippet, okay? So now we need to tell the system where do we wanna use this and we're going to go down here to web templates and let's select the footer, okay? So here is where I'm gonna place it. We can expect the footer to be on most pages so it seems like a kind of a logical place but you could put it anywhere you want, wherever it makes sense. Okay, and then right in here, I'm gonna add the following code. I'm gonna do open curly brackets, percent include snippet, like so. And then I'm gonna do the snippet underscore name. And then we're gonna put here chat, like that. All right, and then close this out. And so it should look like that. And then just go ahead and click save here and the snippet should be ready to use now on our site. Okay, so let's go over to our site and we're just gonna hit refresh here. And if this doesn't come through straight away, you may need to just clear out the cache of your portal, try restarting it, there's a few things you can do, but basically here it is here, we see it in the bottom right. So we have the chat widget ready to go, okay? So let's do this, let's sign into the site. I'm gonna click sign in, Azure Active Directory, and you can see here now I'm signed in. And if you do this yourself, you may find the first time you, you'll just get a screen that pops up that says entering in, entering your basic information and click save. So you may see that um, as well, okay? So we're on the page now in the Power Apps portal. We have the chat widget ready to go. So now let's go ahead and try it out. So if I click on it, this is just starting a chat so again, typical scenario, a customer comes to your website, they want some help with something, they click on the chat widget, hoping to speak to someone in your organization that can help them. And it says here an agent will be with you in a moment. So that's all ready to go. So now let's go and find where that chat's been routed to. Okay, so we see the chat request coming in for the agent. And one thing I wanna note here is that uh, this is a demo environment. And as a result, what we're seeing here is visitor three uh, we're not seeing the actual user's name that's coming in from the portal, right? Uh, so it's just because it's a demo org, but otherwise you would see chat request from and then whoever initiated that chat request, okay? So I'm gonna click accept here and then we'll see uh, that the chat is in fact authenticated. So we're here in the app and then if I go to visitor details, we can see here authenticated is yes, okay? so. Once again, this is a demo org, and uh, if the customer was authenticated in a real org, you would actually see the name appear in the top right, and then you would actually see the customer selected here as well. So if I just go ahead and pick a user here, it, it would basically look something more like this. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.